the story I'm going to tell you is uh, an experience I had while living and working in Costa Rica. I was working as a diver and I uh, was helping out some uh, local uh, police officers recovering a corpse from a, the base of a waterfall. So uh, to start it off, uh, I didn't know what I was signing up for. Uh, I had, uh, the, for the day, my duty was to go get some food from the grocery store, set up some snacks for the dive that we were going to take out in the ocean. When I returned back to work, my boss said, do you want to do a normal ocean dive or do you want to dive at a waterfall? And she was very excited about this waterfall dive. And to me, I'm thinking, what would I see in the waterfall? And so she ends up telling me that no one's signing up because they're afraid of recovering this dead body and um, she needed assistance. So I signed up along with a couple other divers as well. Uh, we get to the, the site, we have to uh, drive through the jungle and there's just nothing there until we see a baseball field in a cleared out area of the jungle. Uh, probably another quarter mile down the road, there's the waterfall and we're at the top of it looking down and it's rocky, it's terrible and I don't know why someone would want to jump off there but uh, I think it was a dare or an excitement after the baseball game. Uh, supposedly the person came up for air a couple times, sank and then never came back. Uh, so first was getting down to the base of the waterfall which required a lot of ropes and uh, not, uh, not, not real repelling gear so it was a, kind of a makeshift thing and pretty dangerous at that. Uh, once we get down there, we were told that the visibility was going to be good, the temperature was going to be good, uh, and that it wasn't that deep. Uh, but that's all wrong. It was very deep and it was cold, which is kind of surprising being out in the middle of the jungle. You'd think hot, humid, that the water's going to be warm, but not so much. And it was so turbulent that it was hard to see. If I was to reach out my arm, I'd have a hard time seeing the ends of my fingertips. So as a, a practice of searching, we're thinking, well, the body may be floating by now or should be out of the, uh, of the water, and we couldn't find it. So we were swimming around the base at the pool at the bottom of the waterfall, and we are going around the perimeters thinking maybe the body got caught up in possibly rocks or twigs or branches. And so we're going through, and, you know, the adrenaline's going, and I'm a little bit concerned because our dive lights, we were not prepared. We didn't have big dive lights. We had the little dinky ones. And uh, I'm reaching into these holes, and there's branches and rocks, and trying to find a dead body. And I want it to be over. I want a uh, mission successful, and we 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 were able to recover the body. But I'm imagining all these horror movies, and I'm reaching into a hole, and this face comes at me. Uh, and, and so that's what I was like concerned about. We make our way around the base of the the waterfall, the pool, and nothing we couldn't find anything so we get up there was two teams of us uh, my buddy and I Wes he had uh, some air left over and so did I the other two divers did not so we tell the cops that we need some more dive tanks we need lights we need uh, thicker wetsuits all the necessities that we needed to continue the day since we had some more wetsuits we thought or wetsuits sorry if we had more air we decided to continue with the dive and because we're dealing now with the center of the pool uh, we had to be uh, more diligent of the, how we search. So we do what's called a U pattern, where we go in a straight line, we get a bearing, turn 90 degrees, and then come right back. And it's this efficient U pattern that you can cover all that ground. Well, we start off at the center, and then we were going to move to one side, and then have the other divers move to the other when they get the tanks. We start heading down, and like the moment we start heading the, uh, the bottom of this pool, I bump into what I thought was a log at first, but it was kind of gave way and it just wasn't natural. And my light was giving me issues, so I grabbed Wes and I said, can you shine it over here? And sure enough, there was this body. It was the back of the, the uh, person. So I see his head kind of droop down and he's stuck in the sediment and um, really rigid, little bits chewed up so his ears weren't completely intact. I did not want to see his face, so I didn't turn him around, but I was able to kind of wiggle him out of the sediment and he starts floating a bit. I grab uh, my dive flag, or not the flag, but what we call a safety sausage, is this device that we can fill with air and it will pop up in the surface to show that there's a diver. And so I tied that to him, it's bright red, tie it to him, and I fill this thing with air and it just launches him up to the surface. 
Um, we're, we're taking our time. We're not supposed to go up really fast. Um, so you're moving up slowly. My watch is beeping at me. My dive computer is beeping at me saying I'm going too fast. And then all of a sudden, I'm almost to the surface, and I feel this kicking across my face. And I look, and it's my boss. And he's on his back, and he's kicking backwards. And he's going off in the distance. And then I feel this rope kind of go across my face. Well, he's got the body, and he's dragging it into shore. I turn the other way, and here comes the body. And it's just a, like, in a moment, going to rub right over my face. And I try to swim out of the way frantically. Wes is underneath me, grabs me, pulls me down, and the body just kind of skirts right by. We get up and we are just full of energy and I almost kissed a dead body, I can't believe we found him. And we're just bursting into just nonsense. And then my, uh, my boss, the, the diver that was going across me, um, Dutch guy, just starts cursing at us in, in Dutch, which you know something that I got very familiar with while working at that company. Um, and uh, yeah, he, uh, he told us to simmer down because there's half the town there now uh, seeing what we're doing and we're being filmed at the same time and uh, we got back in order real quick and uh, the town thanked us and uh, interesting experience but a good one nonetheless.